Hi, we're going to work molecular shapes. For each of the following molecules, we want the electronic shape, the molecular shape, the bond angles, the polarity, and the hybridization. So we're going to start off with Lewis structures. In order to do the Lewis structures, we need to add the valence electrons. So nitrogen has five, oxygen has six, but there are two of them. And since we have a charge, it's a positive, that means we've lost one. So we have a total of 12 plus 5, which is 17, minus 1, which is 16 electrons. Now when we write shapes, the first atom listed, unless stated otherwise, will be the central atom. So we're going to have nitrogen with oxygen on either side. You can put them in any position, north, south, east, west, as long as you attach them. So we have two, four electrons. We're going to fill the outermost electrons next. So that's 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So we put in all 16 electrons. The problem is, is nitrogen only has four electrons around it here. Okay, and we need a total of eight. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can take a pair from each nitrogen, I mean each oxygen to share with the nitrogen. That would leave us with this structure here. And here, oxygen has eight, nitrogen has eight, oxygen has eight. This is an ion, so we would have put a positive charge on it. The other way we could draw it is to take two pairs from the same oxygen, in which case you'd have a triple bond with a single bond, in which case you would have this structure here. Now, the beauty of these would be resonant structures. And we're not going to worry about resonant structures, but the beauty of it is, is it's not going to change the shape because whether you look at this one, and we're going to ignore this one, so we'll go with this, this double bond structure right up here, is you're still going to have two electron regions around nitrogen, which will give us the electronic shape as linear. And then the molecular shape, we still have only two regions, so it's linear as well. Then they want the bond angles. Well, if it's linear, all the bond angles are going to be 180 degrees. And then we're going to ask for the polarity. Well, normally, if this was a neutral molecule, then we would have two uh, double bonds that are identical, so it would be balanced. So even though the bonds are polar, it would be a symmetrical molecule. We don't have that. This actually is an ion. So when it asks for polarity, if it's an ion, it's an ion. Um, hybridization. All right. Whether you're dealing with two double bonds or double and a single doesn't matter here. Is for the hybridization, you have two um, single bonds, which we will call sigmas later, and two. Um, double bonds, or one triple, which has um, what we'll call pi bonds later. So for every pi bond, you have to have an unhybridized P. So what we need is a total of two regions, so it'll be SP, because we just need two regions. Because remember, hybridization can involve a single bond, or it can involve lone pairs. In this case, we have neither. So we will have worked this one. So electronic is linear, molecular is linear, angles are 180, it's an ion, and it's sp hybridized. Now on this one over here, aluminum hydride, uh, aluminum is three electrons, hydrogen is one times three, which is a total of six electrons. Aluminum, again, is your central atom. So you're going to put the hydrogens around it. So we have a total of six electrons on there. Aluminum has six, the hydrogens have two, which they're happy because hydrogens, remember, have a duet. And remember, aluminum is an, a, an exception to the octet rule. It's happy with six. 
So this is the structure. So when we look at it, we we'll, we have three electron regions that makes um, the electronic shape trigonal planar. The molecular shape is trigonal planar as well. Now, basically trigonal planar comes out to be a perfect triangle. That means the angles are all going to be 120 degrees. Because they're all identical, then there's no distortion of them. Uh, the polarity would be nonpolar because the bonds may or may not be polar, but it's a perfectly symmetrical molecule. So uh, the symmetry will take care of unevenness in polarity if there is, is any because it's all uniform. Hybridization, again, we're looking for three electron regions. And so it'd be sp2. So you can hybridize one s and two p orbitals together. So these are the first two problems for molecular shapes. And I'll continue working them on the next videos.